Welcome to Witch's Best, presented by Code 3 Games. Today's episode, The Frost Salamander. Which is best, the legacy version or the version in Monsters of the Multiverse? DM Aaron here with Sam and Manny. This episode, we're going to talk about the Frost Salamander. Manny, take it away. So there's absolutely no changes to the Frost Salamander. Everything All right, episode over. Same. No, just kidding. <laughs> All the lore is the same. They copied and pasted everything, which is kind of cool. Uh, they didn't do uh, that for a lot of the other uh, monsters or PC races. They cut a lot of lore, so the fact that they kept all the lore the same was pretty cool. Uh, but all of its abilities, all of its stats, all of its uh, um, moves and actions are all the same. Um, one thing that I really liked about it, since there's really nothing to talk about the changes, um, is its ability, the... Uh, Burning Fury ability. And I think just by having that alone, should they should bump up the, the challenge rating. Because its vulnerability is fire, so most players are going to want to hit it with something fire, and it's going to get its, it, what, the 8d10 freeze breath again every turn? Come on. It's, it's crazy. So you, um, you trade out double damage for recharging its frost breath. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, and it has a decent amount of a decent amount of um, hit points, so it's gonna it's gonna tank those hits reliably. Um, and another thing that I might want to add, uh, if we could, is um, the ability to grab or swallow a PC because it's a huge monster. I think a lot of other huge monsters have that ability anyway. So, come on, Wizards of the Ghost, get on it. <laughs> Sam, any thoughts? Uh, yeah, what he, what he said is like really right. AT ten is no laughing matter because this is a this is challenge rating nine, correct? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if you were going up against this with like four level nine PCs and stuff, you already have like access to fifth level spell. You, seven is the solo for it, I believe. Seven is the solo. So four level sevens can solo a nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Either way, like at like level. I'm still going with my thought, train of thought, like level 9, you get Cone of Cold, but even Cone of Cold doesn't do that much. It does 8d8, not 8d10. So that's like, so that type of damage is no laughing matter whatsoever. Like, that is going to mess you up. And you're right. Like, if you're in cold weather, your first thoughts are going to be, I'm going to hit it with something fiery, because this is the only time. If you didn't have, like, a ranger in your party, like a monster slayer ranger, for example, and you can't find out vulnerabilities and resistances and whatnot. And even if you did, you wouldn't know about that feature until after. So like, could it just use it every turn? Also, just a, one last thing to add, I do agree with you. I definitely think the AC, I, I wanted to swallow, that'd be dope. Um, especially if it swallowed you or had you in its mouth and then used its cold breath and you were just like instantly failed to save would oh. just be intense. And on top of that, a dungeon in an arctic setting where they have a frost salamander kept underground and part of this mechanical trap is when you tripwire it it keeps getting stabbed and prodded with hot with like hot um <laughs> pincers and keep giving it fire damage low amounts but every time in a rage it just keeps on shooting its beam down a hallway and That's for the diabolical. player yeah, and, and for and the player. Then after that, you, ha cruelty. you have you have a remoraz behind it, uh -huh. and so your players then think fire is going to do something, and then it doesn't. And then it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> See, animal cruelty is <laughs> definitely we do not condone that on um Code Three <laughs> games, but the villains we make might. Just saying, <laughs> if you saw episode one of One Shot Wonders, you will know that no bunny is safe. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. uh, I agree. Uh, I think some of those changes would make it more interesting. Um, you know, as a DM, you have the ability to uh, make changes. Uh, if you added a uh, bite and grapple swallow type ability, then uh, I would definitely raise the CR a little bit. But that burning fury uh, definitely is uh, no laughing matter. So be careful. Um, as we learned also in episode one as a DM, if you do have a recharging ability for like a breath weapon, roll that recharge behind the screen because uh, yeah. you could kill your players just just yeah. something to keep in mind there anyway challenge uh, rates are great but the roll <laughs> of the die will always 
change the game. That's Always. right. So no, nothing to vote on here. I think uh, overall uh, we like it. It's a pretty cool uh, ability or monster to use. Uh, just Wizard of the Coast. Uh, we just think uh, this monster should swallow. Monsters should swallow. Petition That's right. for more monsters to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. With that, uh, thanks for watching to the end. We'll see you on the next episode.